Hey, what's up? This is Donna St. Louis and I am out here, as you can see, on the beach. <laughs> what's up? So I have left the comforts of upstate New York and I'm actually down in Miami for a few days. I came in just in time for Hurricane Dorian who does what it always does. Hurricanes always say they're gonna to come to Florida and then they end up making a curve and going and either hitting North Carolina or Georgia or going over to um, Louisiana and Texas, right? So they usually like bypass us and make this curve. Um, anyway, I wanted to share something with you today that I thought was, was kind of interesting. And it's about a lesson that I learned from, um, from a third grade dropout that quite honestly really changed things about my about my life. Um, it really impacted a lot of the things that I do in life. And so I wanted to share that with you today because I'm hoping that if you hear this message that it'll be helpful for you too. So if you're wondering who I am, my name is Donna St. Louis. I'm CEO of highprofitzone.com. And specifically what we do is we help people who are experts become high profit entrepreneurs. That's what the business does. And you can find out more about High Profit Zone at um, highprofitzone.com. And we have a boot camp coming up November 21st and 22nd. It's called High Profit Sales. So I'll give you one more view. So we're up here on the rocks. So we're up here on the rocks. It's absolutely gorgeous out here. Um, nice and warm. It's probably about uh, 89, 90. So it's beautiful out here today. And I really, you know, I come down here a lot of times when I need to recharge, when I get, <laughs> no, it's not Albany. I come down here to recharge to get my batteries recharged. Um, you know, I do a lot of coaching and when I coach, I put everything into my coaching and this gives me an opportunity to come back home to refresh and to really go back to some of those lessons, some of those core lessons. So what a lot of people don't know is that my grandmother dropped out of school when she was in the third grade and she was also a entrepreneur. And so she dropped out of school when she was in the third grade. She was an absolutely brilliant woman. And a lot of, things, a lot of the lessons that she taught me were game changers in my life. And so um, one, there's this one particular word that I always remember. She used to get angry when I would say this. I would say, you know, if there was something I wanted to do, I would say, I can't, right? And so you guys know that success is when preparation meets opportunity and a fire meets your ass, right? So you're, you gotta be ready and the opportunity has to be there, but you have to do something with it. We already know that. And what happens a lot of times is people will see an opportunity and they could take action but they give themselves an excuse for not being prepared so they'll say things like well i can't and i can't usually comes in three specific areas i can't because i don't have the money i can't because i don't have the time or i can't just because i'm not able i don't i can't do the work i don't know how and my grandmother used to always get mad at me if i said i couldn't do something so the one thing that she would say to me is, I never want to hear you say I can't. And we always hear people say this, right? Oh, don't say I can't, I can't, I can't. Or don't say no to yourself, right? Everybody in the world is going to say no to you. And they're going to have a thousand reasons for telling you no. But the woman in the mirror should never, ever, ever tell you no. But then the next, the, the next question she, that she used to say is that I want you to replace no with how. She goes, so you never say no. The next thing you do is say, if I want to, and I actually could do this, how would I do this? Now, you're going, and you're probably sitting there with Donna, if there is no money, there is no how, right? And I used to say the same thing. If there is no money, there is no how, right? Um, and then my grandmother said, the answer to this question is simple. If there is no money, and, there is, and, and the question is how, the answer is simple. Do something different. Don't keep doing everything that you've always been doing and expect to get different results, right? If you really want the opportunity, if you really want to do something, then say, then the excuses are just excuses and they're bullshit excuses. Because quite honestly, 
the how is be different. That's the answer to that question. So the, the question that you always have to ask yourself instead of saying I can't is ask yourself, okay, so how can I do it? And then when you answer that question, the answer is to do something that you haven't done before rather than saying all the things that you can't do. The answer is always going to be that you can't do it if you keep doing things the same old, same old way that you've always done it, right? You're always going to be in a position where you don't have the money. You're always going to be in a position where you don't have the time. You're always going to be in a position where you're not able to do it. It's always going to be that way if you are going to continue to do the things that you continue to do. And those things start becoming bullshit as excuses that we tell ourselves. And we start selling ourselves in the mirror on a reason that we can't do something. We start telling ourselves that lie every single solitary day. You know what? When I lived in my car, when I was in my car, my answer was initially that I couldn't do anything that I wanted to do. I couldn't because I didn't have the money. And I legitimately didn't have the money. There was more money in your couch than I had while living in my car, quite honestly. Even if your bank account is at negative, you still had more money than me. And so what I had to do though, was I had to say, if I'm going to do some, if I'm going to get out of this car, then I, I can't keep doing what I'm doing. I have to do something different. So how am I gonna get money? How am I gonna get out of this car? And the answer was, I had to do something different. Sitting in the car and whining to myself and crying to myself about not having the money was not good enough. It just wasn't. So I had to start bartering. And what did I barter? My skills. I knew how to freaking wash a window. I knew, I knew how to wash down uh, equipment at a gym. So I started bartering my time of washing windows and washing down gym equipment to just get a shower and clean clothes. That's where I had to start. And then once I got clean and got clothes and I started valuing myself, then it was so much easier for other people to give me an opportunity and for those other people to value me. Exactly, if you are sick and tired, if you keep saying you're sick and tired, if you're sick and tired of yourself, people are sick and tired of you too. So if you don't change what you think about yourself, other people aren't gonna change what they think about you. I had to think that I was worth taking a shower. I had to think that I was worth getting out of the car. I had to think that I was worth wearing clean clothes. I had to think more of myself and do more for myself so other people would see me differently. That's what had to change. And it, my grandmother, like I said, she was a third grade dropout. And she would tell me all the time, there is no excuse. People are gonna think you're fat, they're gonna think you ugly, they're gonna think you skinny, they're gonna think you cute, they're gonna think you pretty, they're gonna think all the things they're gonna think. They ain't gonna like you because you have curly hair, they ain't gonna like you because you have hazel eyes, they ain't gonna like you when it's straight, they ain't gonna like you when you have brown eyes. It doesn't matter. But that's everybody else's problem, not yours. Your problem is what the chick in the mirror says to you. And what you have to ask yourself is, are you going to keep letting her tell you these bullshit stories that keep you from moving forward? See, it's not what everybody else says about us that makes us unsuccessful. It's the bullshit stories that we tell to ourselves in the mirror every single day. And I got to tell you, I talk to entrepreneurs all the time. And here's the funniest thing. So in my, um, in my mastery program, the 10-week mastery program, I have a goal that people will make their money before they ever, but from the time they get into the mastery program, which is 10 weeks, I have a goal that they will make their money back before they ever even attend the mansion retreat. Like they will have actually made their money back within nine to 12 weeks. That is my goal going in. And so when people are like, it's too much money and I don't have it and da 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 da, you're never going to. You're never going to. You're not prepared when the opportunity came along and you will not put a fire up under your ass to do anything. And so people go, well, Donna, why don't you have a list so you can hit those people back? Nope, not at all. That's right, when the pain of staying the same outweighs the fear of investing yourself and making a real change, you will become willing and able to change. 
you will suddenly find how you could have done something different. And the number one que- the number one word that a third grade dropout taught me that changed my entire life was how. I had to stop feeling sorry for myself and saying, I don't have any money. I don't have a way to get around. I don't have any time. I can't do it. And start asking myself, how the fuck am I gonna get up out this car? How in the hell am I gonna make some money? What am I gonna do differently that I am not doing right now? I had to ask myself those questions because if I didn't ask myself those questions, I was gonna keep keep doing what I was always doing. And that's exactly where so many of you, I gotta be honest, that talk to me and I hear the same thing over and over again. And if you're not trying to do the same thing that you've always been doing, what you're trying to do is what somebody else has done. Rather than looking at your skills and what you do best, which is all you really need to do, what your skills are, what you're do best, what you do best, and just do that and share that with the world. Every day that you are an expert, every day that you're an expert in something, And every day that you do not share that expertise and that gift with the world is every day that you live an unfulfilled life. A completely unfulfilled life. Every day that you do not share your gift, your God-given universal talent and gift with the world is another day that you live an unfulfilled life. The reason I was put here on this planet and the gift that I've been blessed with, thank God, higher power, universe, whatever you want to call it, is I was put here on this earth to really help people see their gifts and to help them share that gift with the world. That's what I do. And I do it and I love it and I would do it every day again and twice on Sunday. Anyway, I want you to think about that. Um, Anyway, High Profit Sales is coming up. It's going to be November 21st and 22nd. Early Bird in September 15th. It's 12.50 on Early Bird. And that's all I got for you guys. Hey, check this out. These guys are, they just jumped off the bridge. (laughs) They, these guys just jumped off the bridge and now they're climbing back up. And are you guys going to go jump again? Yeah. And they're going to go jump again because they're absolutely amazing. You already know the vibes, you know, guys? Right. I'm gonna keep her on that's that six. Right. So far six, but that's right. Guys, I just wanna say thanks to all my family and all my supporters. It's crazy. <laughs> I wanna thank this beautiful young lady It's crazy for right everything. Nevada's amazing. <laughs> Nevada's amazing. And Hurricane Irma's whack. Uh, no, this is the Darian. No, no, no. Dorian, Dorian oh, left. Yeah, yeah, Dorian left. Irma's coming back. Yeah, I came here just in time for the hurricane, only for, and the hurricane did what it always does. Yeah, Irma's coming back. Yeah, I came here just in time for the hurricane, only for, and the hurricane did what it always does. It made the turn. These guys are awesome. So they literally just jumped off of there. They were over here listening to my live stream the whole time they were coming up. So they were listening to me up from over there and they were like cheering me on. It was so great. And there are these young men that can't be any more than maybe 16 years old. So they were just, it's, you know, it's so cool around here where you meet people who just listen and, and they really want to get the vibe. So anyway, I just want you guys to think about that. Keep doing what you've always been doing. You're going to get what you always get. Instead of saying to yourself, I can't. And instead of saying, I don't have the money, I don't have the time, and I don't know how, start asking yourself, how can you do something and what can you do differently? That's all you need. How can you do something differently to get where you want to get to? Anyway, I'm going to go and finish sweating in the sun because it's hot as all get out at five something in the afternoon, but I'm absolutely loving it. Um, I will talk to you guys later. Mm, Have a good one. And again, check out highprofitsales.com if you're interested in jumping, coming to the um, sales. It's, by the way, it's the Rainmaking Sales and Marketing Bootcamp. And it's not what everybody does in regards to sales and marketing. It's absolutely different because, you know, I don't do what 99% of the people do. I guess that's why I live among the one percenters. Talk to you guys later.